Hello and welcome back to another video. Before we get into going over some of this manga and suggesting some manga, I need to give a quick disclaimer and a trigger warning. Some of this stuff is very grotesque and can feature some touchy topics, and this video will lightly cover some of this. Now that you've been warned, let's jump into the video. I'm going to start off pretty tame with any of Junji Ito's work. It's filled with a lot of body horror, and it's all around unsettling. I've said it a couple of times now, and I'm going to say it again. Junji Ito is the king of horror manga, but his manga doesn't really scratch the surface of the other manga I'm going to suggest. But personally, for Junji Ito, I'ma say check out Smashed and Uzumaki. Now let's crank this video up a few notches. Next I'm going to the Dead Tube series, one of my personal favorites. Now Dead Tube is a somewhat long running horror series that has a lot of horrible shit going on and that's why I like it. Quick synopsis, it's about a boy and a girl using a site called Dead Tube. This site pays for the most vile videos so you have a bunch of people just filming downright despicable things for the site and the chick is like a cold blooded killer and the dude who films. How do I put this? He gets excited at the sight of death. That pretty much tells you everything you need to know about Dead Tube. But I'm going to take it a step further and list some of the things from the manga. Murder, sewer slide, uh, rap with an E, nudity, sexual content in general, and gore. That about sums up Dead Tube. Now let's get over to the next one. Up next we have this one. I can't pronounce it so I'm just going to throw it up on screen and call it Yuki. Now Yuki is a kind of meme in the anime community. You might have seen this panel right here from the manga somewhere before with very little context. I personally can't tell you about Yuki like at all. It's a short manga, I think they call them one shots or something like that, but the horror comes from the surprises or shock value in general and to preserve the surprise for anyone wanting to read Yuki, I won't be going over the plot. So. There you go, check it out, it's wild. Alright, for the last manga, it's up on screen, I don't want to say it personally, because I don't know how YouTube will react to me saying that F word too many times, so I'm going to call it Collection. Big trigger warning here, Collection is about women doing the deed with mostly random men in order to get pregnant. They then go to a doctor for an operation that makes them no longer pregnant, and then they take that F word and kind of wear it like a hat or headwear, I guess, and go to competitions to see who has the most. Listen, don't read this one seriously, like it's disgusting. If this is the only one you don't read, that's a good thing, all right? This one is downright terrible and just disgusting. But yeah, that about does it for this video. I hope you're okay. I tried to keep this video as family friendly. All around, Japan legitimately owns horror literature and just horror in general. Like some of this stuff is truly disgusting and horrific. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you know of any horror manga that's on the level of what is in this video, drop them in the comments. Also, if you decide to read any of this, let me know what you think of them. Also, peep the description for all my links and maybe a synopsis for each one of these manga. Most likely will be censored a little bit though. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Later.